Hello, hello. I am back to help you do this thing called life. So you know I'm still praying for us. Um, and I need you praying for us too, okay? Um, but I have just still been thinking about overcoming fear. Uh, so many times fear paralyzes us. Or if it doesn't completely paralyze us, it's kind of like it keeps us, it keeps us stunted in growth and in movement where we're not where we should be. We're not doing what we should be doing. And so I just want to encourage y'all, um, <laughs> take heart, take courage, be strong. Um, Deuteronomy 31 verse 6 says, be strong. This is the message translation. Be strong. Take courage. Don't be intimidated. Don't give them a second thought because God, your God, is striding ahead of you. He's right there with you. He won't let you down. He won't leave you. One of the things that stood out in that verse to me, of course, about taking courage and all that, but don't be intimidated. I encourage you not to allow yourself to be intimidated by the task or the people. Take your eyes off the people. And even though we have to do the task, somehow we need to keep our eyes on God. Remember why it is that we're doing what we're doing. Because so many times, you're really the least person in the equation. You are, um, what's the word? Oh, goodness. Uh, um, it's like your presence, your, your whatever it is that you're called to do, that's mandatory. But in the grand scheme of things, it's so small. But it's vital. It's necessary in order for what it is to take place. Okay, so let me see. Uh, if we're talking about a recipe and it calls for any particular ingredient, without that ingredient, everything changes. So you think of a cake. If it calls for two eggs and you don't have those two eggs, it throws off the entire cake. It throws off everything. Whatever it is that you bring to the table, it is vital for that outcome. It is vital for people to be encouraged. You will never, you, I, I think it's at some time, at some point, I think that we will never really know who all we've affected I've heard my pastor say this too. I don't think we'll know who all we've affected until we make it to the other side. Because I believe that it goes on for generations. And I believe it has the potential to reach nations. And so just remember, y'all, this yes that we give God, it far outreaches, it, it far Oh, my words tonight. <laughs> it goes further than we could ever imagine. That yes, that. And so look, even in this moment, I need you, I'm going to, I'm transparent. Yes, it's scary. But I'm still saying yes. Yes, it's, it could be intimidating. But I'm going to look it right in the face and do it anyway. I refuse to step down. I refuse to back up. I'm going to move forward. And y'all, this thing, it, it may seem like it's so much bigger than you. It is. That's why we rely on God. It is bigger than you. In your own strength, you cannot do it. In my own strength, I cannot do it. But... With God 
in this verse says, he's right there with you. He won't let you down. He won't leave you. And so know that God is with you. Know that he's with you. He is going to make you strong. He's going to make you courageous. He's going to make you victorious. He's going to make it, these ventures fruitful. Y'all, we, we, we just have to stay connected to him. Because, yeah, it's bigger than us. It's greater than anything we can imagine. But it's so good. And it's so God. Well, y'all, let's keep praying for each other, okay? This has been One Moment with Marcy. I'll be back tomorrow with another moment of momentum producing inspiration. Until then, stay encouraged. And remember, you got to flutter before you can fly. But flying is in your future. I love y'all.